morning, everybody. It's Matt, the Awakening Angler. We're out here today with who used to be my friend, Todd Shelter. <laughs> Captain Todd Shelter, Strike Zone Charters, Port Ontario, New York. Say hi to everybody, Todd. <laughs> hey, everybody. That's as much Good as you want to hear from him. <laughs> uh, we're in Oswego Harbor this morning, brown trout fishing. Uh, you're gonna love this. We have an hour and a half to fish this morning, Courtney and I do. So we're out here and I said, okay, Todd, let's, let's make it quick. And we did. We hit two on our first pass, one real nice one, which you'll see. I typically catch big fish. And uh, so we've got one more, we got time for one more pass. We're coming up the wall. Harbor's full of bait. Water temp is just 45 degrees and the browns are here. Also it's 25, 26 foot of water. When we start in close, we're, we're in five or six. Back along in front of the, the fort there. Off the river is over where you can see the, the Oswego side on the oil tanks. The spring brown trout fishing, they're not typically too hard to catch. It's a matter of finding them. And, and, and once you find, and, and you typically find them by looking for temperature variations. And sometimes it might only be a degree that changes whether there's fish in this part of the, of the lake or where you're trolling or they're concentrated here. Um, we had a break when we came out of the, out of the Wright's Landing this morning. How much of it? It was a uh, degree and a half. Degree and a half. And that's huge. We're in river water right here because of, uh, because of the river influence. You get out in the main lake, we've had an offshore south wind for four days now. It's blown all of our temperature out, out deep. So the shoreline outside the harbor may not be nearly as productive. You start the morning. That's a big bulgy right there, folks. Ha! Hello. Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. oh, God. oh my God! Oh! oh my God! My leg is all slimy. You don't lose many fish on inline stuff because it's never any flat line. Yeah, yeah. On a regular board, there's, there's a bunch of slack when. Yeah. You, when with bo with boards, this part of it's a pain in the ass. But I don't run them out very far. Like when I run boards, I put them out about where it is right now. That's as far as I run. Oh. All right, nice. All we're doing this morning is flatline trolling. This is a Smithwick Rogue. This is not the suspending model. This is the floating model. This is probably hands down. I would say, Todd, if you agree the best trolling stick bait. If you can't catch them on those, you're not gonna catch them probably. Yeah, probably the best. Thunder Stick Juniors too. Thunder Stick Junior, stuff. yeah. And there's and, and there's a ton of stick baits in the world. The Smithwick Floating Rogue is probably in. They make it in two sizes. And the baby, you can see the size comparison. The baby at times can be just as good, uh, if not better. That makes it work good, I think. It's, it's a rolling bait. So, it does this when you troll it. It doesn't do this. And it just seems to work. Yeah.
Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Thank you everybody for watching. Remember, click the like, share, subscribe button below to be part of the channel. Keep your tip up. Schooner Tuna, take 25. <laughs> it was already take 25. <laughs> Be sure to get your signed copy of my book today, Catching the Drift. The link is in the description box below. Thank you.